I bought an outside socket for about 13 euro and I'm going to install it now. Here we go. I've already switched the power off and I'm going to take the socket off the wall. This socket is, is uh, dead. You know, I've got a phase tester and I had something plugged in there anyway, so I know. Now these back boxes have, um, have knockouts and I'm going to take out one of the knockouts. So I'm just going to put my SDS drill on hammer only and drive this through. Okay, I've access to this now. So I'm just going to twist it out. So these are knockouts in these boxes for that. We'll have a bit of dust here. So instead of going vertically out or perpendicular out like this, I'll start it that way. And I want to go out at a slight angle, so we're going to do that. Okay, so the reason I went at a bit of an angle is so that I wanted to come out between the coin stone here and this downpipe. You know, I wanted the, uh, the double socket to live here and uh, that's just perfect. And the exit wound then, um, what's going to happen with that is the box is going to sit over so you won't see it. Perfect. Now I'm just going to put a bit of pipe in the wall as a conduit. And that's it. I'll just chop off the bit I don't need on the outside. We're going to push the wire through that now. Well, I've got some old cable I found in the shed. It's a 2.5 square twin inert. Um, all right. And what I'm going to do is push it through that pipe. This has top written on it, so we'll obey that. But I'm going to put, going to drill through the middle of this and put the wire through that. So, just so as you can see it. Okay. Now, hopefully, that's a 10 mil hole. Hopefully, it's big enough. No. Okay. Now, all I could find was a rusty stepper bit. So, we're just going to go a bit bigger with this. All right, so that's big enough now. Right, so like that and we'll just get this level and bang it on the wall okay so if you can see it I have a green laser level lying on that and uh, you know you can just put a small little lev level on it but as I had the tripods and everything set up um, I might as well have used it so look, here we go straight through the box Now these are solid concrete blocks, so I'm looking around for my, and I have them, my plugs. Alright, so here we go, red plug, straight through everything, and in, and we'll put um, put some screws straight into that. I got four, oh, I do, <laughs> so good. Right. Get the first one in. Okay, I'm gonna swap out batteries again. We need the SDS drill. Um, we don't actually need this drill. And this battery. Okay, let's do battery swaps. Okay, that battery is just fully charged now. And all right, so we're down on one corner. And. Uh, one thing about the laser line is you can't knock it out of the way, you know? You can just get in the way of it maybe and cast a shadow. Okay, the trick is to go in deep enough. These blocks are four inches deep, 100 mil thick. 
and uh, they're solid concrete. Now, of course, there are timber framed houses and all of that. Now, you'd have to approach that a bit differently. Right, so we're going to put four in this. Okay, it's beginning to get a bit dark, so we might have to call this. No, I'll finish it in the morning so you can see it. <laughs> Otherwise, there won't be enough light. Okay. Two more plugs. Okay, we'll throw two screws into it now. So that's essentially it. Okay, so the hard part of these things is actually getting the yoke on the wall. So that's it on the wall, nice and solid. Um, the easy bit is actually opening up the wires and so on. So this is 2.5 square stuff. I've already got, you know, in the back of that plug inside the socket, um, there's already, you know, a feed and a looped feed to something else. So, um, you know, I'm gonna have three in there. It will fit, but, uh, you know, if you had three, you don't want to have four, so have a look. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm only catching the insulation on this. I'm not actually pushing into the wire because that would uh, compromise it somewhat. Okay, so I'm making these long deliberately. I'm going to fold them over and double it because these are going to be under the screw on their own and it just makes it, um, it gives it more purchase, more surface area. Right, so that's what we've got. We've got them bent over. And then this guy is the earth. Now, this is just old cable I have here on um, newer cable, let's say. Um, here anyway, it already it's already sleeved. They don't allow it this way anymore. But as I have a bit, you know, I wouldn't be doing this for someone else. So just, you know, use the right cable yourself. Or watch this for entertainment. <laughs> Don't copy it. Okay, so we've got the brown. Brown goes to the L on this. We'll just push that in. Okay, and then we'll tighten it. Now I have the sockets already switched off. So, and this is not connected inside. So for me doing this is safe here. So that's the live in. Neutral goes under the N. Okay. So, let's tighten this on. Okay, so neutral in, and the, the earth will we'll bend over the earth as well. Okay, now in an, in an attempt to let you see what I'm doing, put the earth in there, and we'll tighten this. Okay, so essentially that's it. Now, uh, watch this for entertainment by all means. <laughs> Don't trust me, is what I'm saying. So what I want to do is I'm gonna run across the top of this and down with some silicone. And that means any water running down the wall can't get into the socket. Right, I'm just gonna tip these out. Right, so let's put these fellas in. <laughs> so I have an outlet for a downpipe here. And if I drop it into that, so and it doesn't particularly want to go in easy. Okay. Once I get the first one on, uh, it'll hold everything together. Right, as predicted. So there's the first one in. Not so hard to hold the rest of them on now. And that's it, one waterproof box. Now I haven't done the inside yet, so we'll get about doing that now. I need some sleeving now, some of this stuff. 
to cover that bare wire. So we'll get some of that. Right, I have some here. And what I'm going to do is um, just eye it up. Make it a little bit shorter than the wire so that the wire protrudes out over the end of it. That's it. Let me just slide this over here. Okay, so that's that wire looked after. So look, I'm just going to expose some of this on the end. Uh, enough to go in the box. There. There. And we already have enough on this. So I'll probably shorten this. So again, safety first. This is a phase tester. It'll illuminate if there's any power in there. And it's not. I know, I, have for, I know for a fact I have the power off. So I turned it off at the breaker. Right, so let's do the brown first. There's a couple of browns in there already, and they're, um, they're twisted together, but I'm not going to twist this one. I could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to pop them in and slide this one in beside it. Okay, so I've just slackened the neutral now without taking the screw out all the way. I'm going to slide this one in beside them. Okay. That's the neutral in now. And I'm going to tighten this. All right, so there's an earth here and there's an earth on this as well. So there's two earths on this actually, this um, socket. And I'm just gonna slacken this one. Right, and this goes in on its own. Hang on. Okay, that's it in. Tighten it down. Now we have to organize getting the socket back on. Um, I just used this as a diverter for the dust, you know, when I was drilling, and uh, it's cool. So let's try and train these wires so that they fold out of the way. Okay, it goes in, no problem. So what you want is when the wires are in, you know, that they're not in the path of the screw. If the screw goes through the box and hits them, well then that's it. You know, you're gonna um, short them out. So it's quite dark outside. You know when you say, it's only gonna take me 20 minutes to do this. <laughs> it doesn't always work, you know? So look, I'm just releasing that. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that. They're illuminating, which is great. I'll show you that now in a sec. And, uh, and there you go, hair dryer is working. Not that I need one. <laughs> so for 13 euro, I've got a see-through lid. It's got illuminated switches so that you can see when it's on. And, um, and you can see them through the lid, which is fantastic. And it's weatherproof. Now how long it lasts, I don't know. Uh, if something happens, it I'll fix it. But uh, I'm going to leave it there for now. If you liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here. Great having subscribers, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck. <laughs> right.